Uh, dear Parvis, uh, dear Dr. Alfieri, uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity uh, uh, to present my data here in uh, this very important uh, um, uh, meeting in, in Rome. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to talk Italian. Uh, uh, Buonasera. <laughs> um, uh, we, uh, we started a prospective uh, uh, non-randomized study about nerve management on chronic pain in uh, 2000 in my uh, 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 hospital in which I was formed in uh, Rheinbeck, um, uh, where we uh, uh, set up a hernia uh, center. So uh, um, our study design, um, uh, we uh, uh, preoperative uh, made pain assessment by visual analog scale in all the patients. Um, recording of preoperative and postoperative nerve anatomy and nerve uh, anatomy especially in relation to mesh after Liechtenstein repair, documentation of nerve management during the operation, and all surgeons tried uh, to detect, to handle with care, and to preserve the three inguinal nerves without damage. Neurectomy and proximal end ligation according to uh, uh, Parvis amidst recommendations uh, of damaged nerves. Um, Follow-up of pain and other complications after one week, six months, and uh, five years. This, of course, you, uh, all of you know, the normal anatomy. Uh, uh, Dr. Weissmuller uh, gave his brilliant presentation uh, and, um, about the anatomy of the nerves. Uh, this is uh, our documentation sheet. Um, every surgeon had to, um, uh, to write down uh, the nerve anatomy at the end of the operation. And um, we uh, did open uh, hernia repairs, a tailored approach. Shoulder's operation was performed in the small hernias uh, without risk factors for recurrence and the Liechtenstein repair, the large hernias and risk factors for recurrent hernias as well as in recurrent hernias. Uh, all hernias were classified using the Arken class classification of Professor Schumpelig. Um, and almost 90% of the operations were performed in the local anesthesia. Our results um, from 2000 uh, to 2002, a total of 879 inguinal hernias um, um, in 839 patients were included in the uh, prospe prospective study. Um, all operations were performed by four experienced uh, hernia surgeons. Uh, we had uh, 781 primary hernia operations and almost uh, 100 recurrent hernia operations. Um, 539 cases of Liechtenstein with Marlex mesh and 286 uh, shoulder eyes operations. Um, the preoptive pain assessment showed that um, 40 uh, 0.6% um, of our patients had preoperative pain. 6.1% uh, uh, of these uh, patients uh, relevant pain uh, uh, with a VAS scale of more than three. They were um, excluded from the data which I will uh, uh, present to you now. Um, after 6.2 uh, months, we had a follow-up, a total follow-up of 91%. Um, this is our results. We excluded um, the recurrent hernias because um, uh, the uh, nerve anatomy was uh, difficult um, in these patients. Um, there were 51 patients uh, with uh, chronic pain. Uh, two patients suffered from relevant chronic pain, which is a uh, uh, vast scale more than three. And um, 40 patients reported sensory disorder. The only significant parameter for chronic pain after six months um, was, was a sensory disorder of the groin. All these uh, parameters uh, um, after 6.2 uh, months were not uh, significant, uh, uh, significantly linked to chronic pain, especially the nerve uh, handling, um, uh, identifi identification of the nerves, and so on. Now um, uh, we come to the phase two. Um, uh, our patients were again um, uh, reassessed after 5.2 years. Uh, we sent questionnaires um, uh, to uh, all the primary hernia patients. And the follow-up, um, the total follow-up was uh, 645 patients. Um, um, the, we received 484 valid questionnaires. Um, the, the patients were, were mailed uh, two times, and we had uh, 161 telephone inquiries. 